The Ely Times and the Eureka Sentinel are Eastern Nevada's legacy papers and among the oldest surviving papers in Nevada. Their owners announced a verbal deal in January to transfer the papers to a new owner, Ben Rowley, who is moving the publications from print to a fully digital platform. I think there's a little bit of disappointment, obviously, uh, that we're not printing the paper anymore, um, which is understandable. The, these papers have been around for over a century, both of them, and so it's, it's a change. But also, I've, I've received a lot of support so far. Ely residents have expressed concern that the change to fully digital will alter the way locals interact with news. I hope they can kind of transition and maybe get back to print media again. I mean, I'll be honest, I'll be standing in line at a restaurant or at a convenience store waiting to check out, and I glance over at the newspaper stand sitting there, and sometimes I pick it up. However, residents also expressed understanding of the shift to digital. Printing and overhead is expensive. Nevada Press Association Executive Director Brian Alfrey said the most important trait for a new owner is that that person is invested in the community and maintaining local reporting. Rowley is now the owner of three rural papers, the Lincoln County Record, the Eureka Sentinel, and the Ely Times, and all three employ reporters who are invested in the community. Well, there's, there's a legacy here, there's a history here. We're kind of taking that baton and, and trying, to, trying to move it forward. But what a what a awesome history that we need to preserve. Too. A lot of times people think, oh, these communities just stay the same, but they don't. You look back at how things were 50 years ago, 100 years ago. There's a lot of there's a lot of history there, and a lot of a lot of changes, and, and so yeah, it's it's important. 